Brooks used to see him dance tonight. <laughs> well, here we are. Getting ready to debark on the voyage on the river here. We'll find some pines that were left behind. For me, Mike Brooks, and the T Mozart that man to find. Those buzzards, I've never been that close to buzzards. Jack on things are ugly. That's the Missouri State bird right there. Somewhere. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for you. Hey, watch out, I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get off here. Yeah, we don't wanna crash. We gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> well, howdy tubers. Here it is, Labor Day weekend. We got Brother Snyder Point man coming to visit. So we figured we'd get out here and tear up some gravel bars since uh got Terry with us. The other guy Brooks don't really hunt the gravel bars, he likes them bank sites. And old Snyder First to finally find a point. There it is. Just as brown as the rock around it. Pull her out of there. Yeah, this little shoulder dinged off. But tips there. Look how thin that thing is. Dang. Yeah. Looks like a Johnson maybe. Yeah, Johnson. Which is a step down from a Dalton, because that's all, all that flaking goes straight across. Yeah, that's that's well. older flaking. That, yep. That nice find, brother. Well, thank you. Yep. Awesome. Thanks for bringing well, me out here. That's what he's here for. Put yeah, you buddy. on a point. That's nice and thin, well made, too. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Now we just find another one. Thanks, mm -hmm. guys. A little broken piece on it. I'm like, well, I know there's got to be something else here, and I'm uh, making our second bass back over it. And I noticed that laying there, all dirty like. And I was just saying, in this dirty rock, boy, you got to look for shapes because flaking and color won't stand out. But uh, it's been in the river a long time. Yeah, it's carbon up in it. You bet it is. Ooh, he's fast, little devil. Right there under that rock and just barely see his tail. Butt turned Man, he's up. He's fast. Yeah. Mean looking old dude, isn't he? Yes, they are. I didn't really, I guess I didn't know they flew, but Looks like a wasp rear end turned upside down. With yeah, the, they got little pinchers on them. There he is. Well, me and Brooks is out here hunting, and this is what snuck up on us. We thought we was going to be blown away there a while ago. Yep, I'm not too yeah. sure. I didn't see it, like a point of a frontal cloud over them. The trees over there, the far ones there, and then it just disappeared, and we about got blown away right after that. Look at those deer. That's breaking, really breaking, breaking tree limbs off as we was coming out of the creek down there. Yeah, it's getting it over through there. We're still blowing through here. Messed up. I think once that fan right there gets through, the cold front will just about be by here. It is kicking. It's about 50 miles. We're up. Kind of got up late. Leaving 
leaving the great state of Missouri at 11.30 year all's time here. Anyway, we're heading out. Catch you all next time. Big St. Louis Arch. That's a big old thing. Sign to get on 64. It's pretty cool looking. See you later. I just pulled up in my drive and here's what I'm seeing. Sucker still has spots on them. Born this year. Got some little twin ones that belongs to that mama right there. And then that one there, I haven't seen here around here in a while. She's a dark brown. A little old. Hey everybody. I'm back. It's another day now. <laughs> uh, wanted to do like a cleanup video here of some gifts that uh, Terry Timo's archive man had given me. I want y'all to look at this stuff. Awesome, awesome stuff, man. It's like a almost like a sandstone I guess I call that a lytic material stuff as cool as can be nice big piece thank you Terry he gave me a Snyder's that's a nice one let's get that one little bit of damage there but other than that that's cool material and cool made point he said that's kind of a form of a snatter so I don't know if that's like a Gibson or, or what that is nice little dude though he gave me a piece of pottery a rim piece I don't have a rim piece at all. That's just too cool. I've only found a very few pieces of pottery myself. It's got a little pattern on it. See that or not? Yeah, I see it now. And this is just awesome. I don't have hardly anything bone in my collection at all, but that's a trigger, a trigger all that they've worked into a napping tool. You can just see the scratch marks and the, the shine from the polish of the use wear. Unreal. You don't see how you can part with something like that, Terry. That's just too cool. That's the way they used it right there and just pressure flaked with it. Pretty cool. Can't get over that. That's neat as can be. All worked down for smoothness and ready to ready to use. And it looks like it's been used and sharpened many times. Too cool. Thank you, Brother Terry. And then Brooksy gave me uh, all these little pieces of quartz that he dug up in shelters and stuff. A little piece of uh, hematite that's been worked down on that bottom side to be flat and uh, who knows what they were using that for. Maybe just a little piece to carry. 
This is one he found when we was in the creek together the other day. Bro saw it on his video. I've tried to clean some of that off with vinegar and it, it wouldn't even cut it. CLR might cut it. He gave me this one. Not sure of these types, but they sure are nice. Look at this knife, it's real cool material. Looks like it's two different pieces of material fused together there. That's cool. Really cool. Some kind of a knife, I guess. This is like a little ads. Polish. Of a drill he dug in a shelter the other day. Give me this piece, it's like a scraper or some kind of a knife, like a six sided. That's really cool. He give me a piece of pottery. That's really neat. White looking stuff. Don't have any of that. Now I do. Give me this. And he gave me this one. That looks like two pieces, different pieces of material fused together too. Really neat. Pretty cool how that thing's made. Really cool. And then my find from the river. It's that one right there. Brooksy and uh, Terry thinks it's a Johnson. I'm not sure. I would I would agree with them. I looked them up in the book and. It appears to have that type of flaking on it. It's the right style for it. Just missing a little bit of that base. And I found this stone here. I think it's just a creek weared stone, but way thanks again, Brooksy. Oh, I forgot this one. This is one Brooksy made. Can't forget that. He's got a nice bevel on that thing. It's almost like an Angostura point or something like that. Did a pretty good job on that. Thank you, Brooksy. That's a piece I found in the, the river. I'm not sure if that's anything or not. Just a river pebble. Pretty neat little dude. Anyway, thanks again, Brooksy. Thank you all for taking me out on the tour and the hunt. Thank you, Terry. Thank you very much. I'll get something together and send it out your all's way. It's the least I can do. Alright, I'll get back with y'all. Later.